Uh, I think the first time I thought about getting serious about wakeboarding was after my first um, national championships. I think that's really when I started to realize that I could make something out of this. Uh, well, how old was I? I was seven. I met the kid when he was five years old. And he shows up and he's this little flat top wearing redheaded little kid. He had that little like, you know, like Tarzan looking kid. Looked like he probably would swing off of everything, you know, really for sure. Well, we always uh, saw talent in Noah since he was very, very young. We always knew that he could accomplish a lot in whatever sport he ended up pursuing. I knew he was going to do this at quite an early age, that he was going to just be one of the best ever. And he's 100 percent, you know, met my expectations. You know, I know I'm his mom, and I think he's incredibly talented no matter what he does, but he won two world championships. He won nationals. He's won nationals two years in a row. He's really at the height of his sport for his age. He's super aware and super in control, and that talent that he has on the water is just really amazing to me. I saw an application for Sports Illustrated Kid of the Year, and I thought, oh, well, that sounds interesting. You know, I'll type in a little bit, and they just wanted so few words, and I had so much to say. Uh, we started huge campaigns telling everyone at school, everyone we know, everyone's email, Facebook, everything. Everybody got involved and, and voted and everybody just kind of compiled and just kept passing it all. I was just always like, wow, oh my gosh, we made it through another cut. Uh, you know, we, we started getting texts and emails from people around the world that we didn't even know. So nerve-wracking like every day, just like wondering like what's going to happen. And to find out it was so like exhilarating, it was such a great feeling. Noah Flegel is the 2011 Sports Kid of the Year. I just started crying. I was like, whoa, oh my gosh. Really, really incredible. Noah is definitely the kind of student you want to have. When you have a student like Noah, you feel fulfilled as a teacher. You know that you're reaching someone and it makes all the difference in the world. It makes me really happy to do what I do. So incredibly proud. I, I just can't say enough that, you know, I really think that he deserves this because he's been just really, you know, mature and he's worked so hard and he's just really a really good kid. Sweet. <laughs> well, you know, we're very proud of him for all of his accomplishments and really these types of accolades are the, you know, the, the cherry on the ice cream. But, you know, when we see him being humble, and when we see him handling things in a mature way and um, being a good sport towards his fellow athletes, you know, those are the things that are really the most important to us. It's so great to see a kid be so humble in light of all the fabulous things that are happening to him. You know, he, he could certainly go in the other direction, and it's not. He's just, he's just doing a great job. It's awesome. He's a down earth kid. It makes it really even more special, I think. Yeah, he's a pretty humble kid, and Hopefully he can keep his head screwed on straight. Because ultimately, uh, you know, he's not going to be a pro athlete his entire life. You know, and so we, it's just important to us that he's a good person and that has to come first. And to see how he's handling things just solidifies in our mind that, you know, that he's doing a great job there and that's the most important thing to us. I don't know, it feels great, like, just to know, like, I was chosen of, like, thousands of kids to be, like, the top uh, sports kid of the year. Just a great feeling.